Hello everyone, it's Lydia, I'm Jarek, welcome in our Domidrevna workshop. Today will be a special chapter. A couple months ago we decided to join to Facebook group, it's called Woodworking Europe and a couple weeks ago administrator of this group Peter Freitag invited us to a special collaboration and the topic of this work was how to display or serve regional speciality. I told about uh, this Lydia and her first very quick answer was Ryczka. <laughs> Lydia, what is Ryczka? <laughs> I don't know why Ryczka. It was my first thought. I'm not going to translate that. Uh, Ryczka, it's a kind of little chair, like uh, stool, let's say, yes? Yes. And I thought, on the beginning, I thought that that was... Uh, a special piece of furniture only for our area so we live in a great Poland now but as far as I uh, research um, after my research let's say I discovered that it was popular in the whole Poland just the name was different here was Ryczka uh, was Zydel as well in a different part uh, Taboret Taboret, Wynborek as well but we will not translate that, it's too, <laughs> too difficult. It was, a, as I said, it was a small uh, stool used everywhere, especially on the countryside uh, size. Um, in the kitchen, as a fo food rest, for example, just to assist the, the lady working in the kitchen. You can sit on that, you can step on that, you can put something on, the, on this little stool. Uh, you could use it in a hall as well to change your shoes. You could use it in a cow sheet to, to milk a cow. You could use it in a garden to, uh, to weed. Generally speaking, it was a piece of furniture everyone should have. That's right. It was usually small, 40, 50 uh, centimet centimeters high. Uh, was not too heavy, but very stable made uh, of three pieces of wood. We've got one which is quite old. We received it from... Um, never, one, never mind. <laughs> from someone but who used that for, I don't know, 70 years, I think. But it's a very good example. Like you see, just three pieces of, uh, of wood. <clears throat> usually pine. Usually pine and usually it was white. It's very old. It's <laughs> uh, a holder here. Of course, we don't have a uh, we don't have a cause here, but <laughs> only four cats. Uh, so we decided to build something like this, but <clears throat> more universal, uh, more useful at our workshop, not at home. Mm, so, I decided to build something like, <clears throat> like this. Like you see, it's uh, a bit higher, uh, but this piece of furniture have, um, has uh, more function, I think. In this position, it's uh, about 40 centimeters high. This way you can sit on this as well. And now you have 30 centimeters. And this way is about 20. So, uh, like you see, is uh, you have three different options. Uh, and it's very strong. So you can uh, you can use it as a step, like this, like this. And Not only one person, two persons as well. Yeah, it's, it's very, very strong. And the, the last option is this way. 
here you have a handle and you can put it you can put there some tools or bottle of wine or, or beer <laughs> and you can carry it yeah to, to carry it and that's it of course I uh, I boiled a very mm, traditional way so you see all the joints all are uh, full through dovetail handmade handmade <laughs> handmade you will see <laughs> so this is it I think it's I think it, it will be very use, uh, useful uh, here. Uh, only one minus. <laughs> it's so um, so bright and clean now. <laughs> so I will be a, a bit afraid to, to to step on it. To step on it, yeah. <laughs> That's all for now. Please see the movie and enjoy to watch Jarek working and making this piece of furniture. I'm taking mine old one to the back back to the garden. You can keep it here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you Jarek. See you Thank next you. time. See you next time. <laughs>